We are set to put another team into the semifinals inside the Greensboro Coliseum. Number four seed Duke facing number five seed Pitt. Really been an underrated guy, I think, in the ACC this year. Lively will kick it out. Filipowski open and knocks down a triple and a great way for Duke to start. On Mark Mitchell is a guy that people should be talking a lot more about. Well, Mark Mitchell has been their most consistent first year player when you consider the fact that what he does offensively and defensively, even though he didn't get any of the ACC honors, Coach Shire recognizes his value. Filipowski again. Boy, does he love this start. Roach to the big. No place to go there. Shot clock is at seven. Mitchell in close. What a quick start for Duke. And both Baba Miller having to leave in the first half. Roach will swing it. Whitehead fires and on target with a three. Proctor lively. He knows exactly what to do with it there. Nice find from Proctor. Great roll by Lively. Although Kyle Filipowski has been on the bench for some time. We'll see if he shall return. Mitchell thought about it. He'll drive it. Keeps on moving and gets it to go down. Strong pump fake. He looks at another one. Lines it up. Unable to get that one to go. But good to see Kyle Filipowski back on the floor. Comes free to Roach. And he'll drive it right back in. No hesitation at all. Roach is off the ball now. Hit the number five seed. Here's Henson will loft that one up there, but too strong. No double bye because they lost a couple of games at the end of the season. Quick strike. Grandison getting in and running the floor. The ACC crown had a call gone their way at Virginia on February 11. Going to get inside and get it done there. And take it away. The turnover. Here comes Whitehead. Put it on his hip. And he stuck it in. A beautiful move there. Boy, he was determined. And Duke leads at 24-13. He'll go to the line. Another one of the many Duke Blue Devil pro prospects in their first year in Durham. Getting out, making the play. Derek Whitehead. Two. Let's go to Dre. And just listened in to the pit huddle, and it was talking exactly about what we just saw. Had that ankle injury, but he's bounced back. Now he's going in underneath and makes it, and he'll be at the line. So looking like the ankle is okay, as he said immediately after he hit the deck. He's looking like the ankle's okay, and Obi, let me tell you who else he's looking like. He's looking like a young Christian Leitner right now, and the reason I say that is because not only is he doing damage when he gets to back, back to the basket on the block, he has the ability to step out and shoot it from beyond the three-point range. And again, in the other quarterfinals, Rock with a scoop, and that's a pretty play. You're never out of it, especially with this three-pointer. Pittsburgh second in ACC, a three-pointer is made per game. Got it inside to the big guy, Lively. Corey, when you talk about Coach Capel being a problem, is there a player on the court that reminds you of Coach Capel? Hunting another three-pointer. Here's Proctor. Shot clock at three. He gets it up there, and he buries it. Shot clock at six. Proctor going one-on-one. -on -one. The kick. Here's Roach with a triple. Yes, sir. Playing as a unit right now. And Jeff Capel, who attempted to sit down to start the second half, on his feet already after an early turnover. Lively kicks it out. Proctor at three. Rebound batted. Controlled right underneath and up and in. That was fortuitous. And the bucket by Mitchell. He said he felt like those early threes from Filipowski knocked them back a little bit as Filipowski hits another one right on cue. Games, but they've got to make an adjustment on him. And immediately, Dre, as Filipowski gets so much room and knocks down another three. And then gets out and gets the fast break easy layup. Jeff Capel going to his bench. Blake Henson will most likely not be on the floor when they come back. Does not like the defensive effort. Team for what they're doing today. With the double bye coming into the ACC tournament. So it's been a lot of business as usual for Duke. Leading 57-32. Mitchell up top. Lively will let fly. Yes! And for those that don't know, he 
can do that. I watched him do. Lively setting a screen. Filipowski, another touch. He'll lean in. And he banked it in. Drawing the foul as well. We talked about Kyle Filipowski. He's a bucket filler. He's a guy that goes out and scores regardless of the defense. He's that good offensively, and he is showing it off. And you got to remember, 28 points. Roach with the kick from the corner. Another one swishes in here for Proctor. But they've gotten everyone involved, sharing the basketball extremely well and executing to the highest level. Lively going up high draws the foul as well so the toughest shots are falling and resulting in an and one for the Duke Blue Devils who are running away with this one Grandison lets fly can't bury that one Mitchell beats everyone to the ball Whitehead lays it off and Young finishes the play Young again trying to make a move out for Grandison wide open for the three and the Blue Devils really laying it on now. They get a rematch with the Miami Hurricanes who flat out embarrassed Duke in Coral Gables the last time these teams split on the year one and one but Miami definitely got the advantage and got the best of them in Coral Gables. Proctor buries another triple for the Blue Devils look ahead to Miami next. Down the lane. Oh, Mitchell with a great adjustment and laid it in. He was thinking about the slam, but laid it in gently. From the corner, the jumper won't drop here for Henson. On the drive and laid up and in for Blakes. Well, Blakes recognizes, so he does switch hands going to the left. Jacob Blakes attacking the basket. I tried to play with contacts once, and that was awful. That, that was it for me. Whitehead, tough leaner, spins it in. One point had an 18 point lead. Shoot was coming in and doing exactly that. Knocking it down. Young for Grandison, and he'll duck it. Well, I thought that NC State's performance last night. That's the most impressive part. You know, I believe everyone was expecting for Pitt to come back and make a strong run at the beginning of that second half. Wraparound pass, Reeves with the stuff. That's how you do that. What an outstanding afternoon for Duke. 96-69. They roll past Pitt today.